I would like to show you the next uh, way how to create the domain by just uh, on another geometry uh, just for the time being we import our geometry that is our car model Okay, select X, Y plan, sketching plan, and now we would go to sketching and select a rectangle and just draw a rectangle. Now give dimension uh, to each uh, according to your domain size. Um, you click here on the dimension tab. Here we specified for example 10,000 and uh, my just a minute. For example, this is uh, 9000 and H2 is, for example, um, 8000. Okay. Now uh, you can extrude this according to your. requirements so we want to store this for example of 26000 so as you can see it has created a box around our half car then you can subtract the car body in the same manner as we did uh, in the previous enclosure example you can see it has created a box around our half car in, on which we want to do analysis so that's the second way but I recommend the enclosure that's more professional ok so we delete this now as uh, our uh, design model setup is done uh, we have just one body that is our air we will close our design model and go to meshing in order to create a mesh just wait a moment it will uh, load the geometry Okay, our geometry is here. Now we would like to see that uh, how NCS creates a default mesh because uh, here it has uh, some default values. We will just click on generate mesh and see how a default mesh looks like. this is our default mesh as you can see it's quite coarse it's not recommended it has created a fine mesh uh, on our car body but outside the domain it's quite coarse we have to make it fine in order to obtain more accurate solution so we will look at this step by step 
you can change the size of your mesh from here the here is use advanced size function you can uh, study about this it is recommended to consider proximity and curvature similarly relevant center it does not depend a lot smoothing must be high and transition should be kept low transition means that uh, if it has one type of mesh one size and it is uh, transitioning to another geometry or another type it should be slow it means that it gradually increases the size of each element similarly we must decrease the maximum face size here it is quite big it should be adjusted according to the uh, length of your domain and uh, your geometry for example I keep it to 50 mm and uh, also this one number of cells across the gap it means that uh, you want how many cells across this gap for example we want to have five cells across the gap growth rate should be this is default 1.2 it's fine and uh, okay we will uh, study more effects first we should generate or update our mesh to see how our changes uh, refines the mesh okay our mesh is created as you can see it is a more refined one you can check your number of elements and number of nodes in the statistic tab here you can see that you have approximately 1.9 million elements the most important thing is that you should check your mesh quality here there are a number of ways uh, I would like to check my mesh quality on the base of skewness so you select skewness over here your mesh quality is good if your maximum skewness is well below 0 0.9 or 0 0.93 round about because fluent can solve uh, up to 0 0.93 or 0 0.95 above that uh, it will diverge your solution it cannot solve your problem so also if uh, your skewness is uh, more than 0 0.95 it is about usually it comes about 0 0.99 or something you can uh, click on each graph here in order to see the specified elements that where they are located on your geometry so for example as you can see if I click over here they are place and number it shows you those elements which has skewness of 0.8 so you can uh, do modifications regarding that areas where your high skewness lies okay we now as our skewness is very good so we change it back to none <coughs> 
the next thing we want to do is that uh, if you want to create a sizing uh, on your car body that means that if you want to create uh, a specific uh, size of elements uh, around your car body or on the surface of your car so you click here in on insert and sizing then you would specify the geometry where you want to do the sizing for example you want to do the sizing on our car body so uh, you have to select your car body the easy way is to inspire rather you select each and every surface you just select surface and here you select a box now you just create a box around your car body and it selects all the surfaces click apply here you give element size for example we want a 10 mm size elements on our car body we will now again update our mesh Uh, as you can see it has created a more refined mesh on the surface of our car body it is of 10 mm size 